Let's start talking now about really creating a real document using your Chancery calligraphy. The first thing I want you to notice is that I've traded out my plexiglass for a light table. This is a really cool tool. It's not absolutely necessary. You can use tracing paper to get the job done, but this is a really nice tool to have. And as you can see, it goes in different brightnesses and never gets hot. It's a wonderful tool. We're going to talk right now about how to fill out the name on a certificate. It's one of the most common uses of your calligraphy skill. Now, I first of all want you to know that you don't just grab the, the, the certificate and start writing on it. <laughs> the professionals know how to mitigate against mistakes. That is, how do you make mistakes, fix mistakes? The answer is you don't make them, or <laughs> you try not to anyway. So we don't start writing on the, right on the certificate. We have another piece of paper, and this is that more of that really nice uh, vellum that we were working on before. I'm going to take a, a small piece of tape and I'm going to tape the vellum on top of the certificate and I'm going to tape that on top of my light table so it's all a little bit stable and then I'm going to use a dip pen. Now I want you to know that I've picked up a slightly narrower pen so that I can write uh, letters in the appropriate size. If I used the big wide pen I was using earlier the name would be bigger than, it's, than the certificate and that wouldn't work very well. So I've got a slightly smaller pen. I'm going to dip it here and you remember again this is my practice and let's say the name that we're doing is in fact my name there we go there we go so you have to do a certificate of appreciation for Dan Nelson oh thanks you shouldn't have really thank you so much oh gosh you're so nice so we're gonna write Daniel you know the name that your mom called you when you were in trouble D A and speaking of which, by the way, I haven't said this yet, by far the easiest mistake to make in calligraphy is to misspell a word. Because you're not thinking of spelling, you're thinking of curves and shapes and ascenders and descenders, so you forget all about that and you write the wrong letter, which is very much part of the reason why you do this not on the certificate, but on a separate piece of paper. My middle name is James. I'm going to abbreviate that to J. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this, what this does is help me, first of all, make sure I don't do any misspellings. And it helps me get the name centered. N-E-L. Yes, I do know how to spell my name. But that's no guarantee that I won't mess up when I'm doing calligraphy. S O. And okay, again, this is, I don't have to be too perfect with this one. Now let's go ahead and we'll put a flare at the end. And by the way, part of the reason I, I would recommend doing a flare or a, a, a flourish at the end of this letter is because if you're taking the time to hand letter a certificate, you would really like the recipient of this certificate to look, look at it and say, wow, they did this by hand. Whereas if you don't put that on there, they won't look carefully and they'll think, you know, some stupid computer did it, just like everything else in life. So do a little flourish so, so that they'll notice. Okay, now, I, I really want to make sure that's dry. And yes, that's going to take just a second. So get back to you in a moment when it's dry. So my practice is all dry. Now we reverse the order. Now we put down the, the tracing sheet first and put the calligraphy on top of it. And here's the fun part. You get to, can you see that? You get to center the lettering right in the space so you make sure it's in the right place. Again, a little bit of tape. You want to make sure, by the way, that your tape isn't going to tear up your certificate. So just place it very carefully. There we go. Now, now I do have to put my careful hand on and I'm going to do this calligraphy on the certificate, warming up my pen over there. Okay, here we go. And I'm not worried about misspelling anymore because I've already have it written one time. Now, when I say trace, I should put the word trace in quotation marks because you don't have to slavishly trace exactly what you wrote the first time. In fact, I would recommend not doing that. Instead, using it as an opportunity to improve upon 
your test sheet. Does that make sense? So make it even better than you did. So don't, don't trace it slavishly. Just use the guide sheet underneath as a guide, not as a master. That is not as a not as a master boss. Just use it as a, a good guide, and do your this time even a little bit better than you did the first time. I think you've got the idea. What if you, what if the person's name is Theodore W. McGill, McGillicuddy? You'll have to use even a smaller pen to fit it all in. That's right. There, a little flourish at the end. Then the president of the organization signs the name down here, and also, by the way, with a ballpoint pen or whatever, he also dates it. So you just do the name part. So that's a certificate. You're on your way to professional calligraphy.